Okay, is the pull-out method a safe way to have sex? Oh. <laughs> when I was younger, yeah. Now I've got a brain, definitely not, no. Good afternoon, my name is Natalia and I'm here with Sash London, supporting advice on sexual health. We're here today in Soho Square to ask people about what kind of contraception they use, if they use any at all. This is all for World Contraception Day, so stay tuned. We're here with Emma. Hello, Emma. Hi. Isabella. Rouge. We're here with Mark. Mark, are you ready to be asked some contraception questions? Oh, a little bit scared, but yeah, okay, yeah. Can you name three different types of contraception? Um, the pill, mm -hmm. um, condom, condoms, yes, yes. Um, and IUD, I guess, would be a third one. Yes, ding, 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 absolutely. Coil, condom, don't do it. Okay, abstinence. Usually people don't say that. Yeah, abstinence is a method of yeah. preventing pregnancy. Or anal, clearly, but, you know, at the bottom, no babies, that's what they say. That's true. Well, there's all different kinds of sex that you can have, and obviously anal sex you don't get pregnant from. Having said that, if there's cum <laughs> dripping down from the anus, it could potentially go into the vagina, but you'd be really, really yeah, unlucky. you would be unlucky on that one, I think, yeah. It's low risk. Is it safe for someone to wear two condoms at the same time, AKA doubling up? No. No? And? I was gonna say, I was gonna say no. I just feel like when it like suffocated. It would suffocate it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more like the friction being too much or something mm -hmm. like that. Something along those lines. Um, yes, I would say the friction would be a negative impact on the condoms. Mm. So it's more likely to split. Um, so yeah, one condom per use. Um, if you've put the condom on the wrong way, then just scrap it, get a new one. Um, and I know this is really gross, but like, don't wash out your condoms and then reuse them. Oh God, do people do that? Okay, common sense. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, people do do that. It's really, really grim. What type of contraception can last up to 10 years? Is it an IUD? <gasps> yes, it is. The IUD, AKA the copper coil. But don't they get lost sometimes? N uh, no. They're, they're, are you sure? Are you sure? Sure. It's a myth. It's not going it? to get lost. Mm. But do you know how it works? Uh, I do not know a lot about it. Uh, no, that's absolutely fine. Lots of people don't. So basically, it actually has a piece of metal like uh, sprung around the, the coil and it's fitted into the uterus and it's the copper that actually repels the sperm. Yeah, yeah so for people who don't really like uh, putting hormones into their body, this is a really good way to um, have a hormonal but long-lasting method of contraception. Um, how much does con contraception cost in the UK? Um, I do not know. I'm guessing you're from the States. Because I'm from the States, yes. <laughs> Shall I tell you? Yeah, please do. It's completely free. So you can go to any sexual health clinic, uh, your GP, sometimes pharmacies, and even now online, and you can access contraception, and it's completely for free. You don't got to pay for it. Okay, is the pull-out method a safe way to have sex? Oh. <laughs> when I was younger, yeah. Now I've got a brain, definitely not, no. I would say no. Um, it is definitely not 100% effective and there are better ways to have contraception. Okay, so what has happened between younger and being older? The reality of having a small child. So yeah, the pull-out method might seem smart, but actually there's that little thing before you actually pull it out that kind of might come. So mm. yeah, the clue's in the question on that one, I think. What's it called, that thing that might come out? Uh, I think they call it pre-cum. Yeah. But, okay, yeah, that's probably not a good thing before the big explosion, so. Yeah, so before the big explosion, there's pre-ejaculate, and in pre-ejaculation, there can be up to a million live sperm. And how many sperm does it take to get pregnant? <sighs> think uh yeah that would be one yeah so you know if anyone is bragging about their pullout game being strong then it is a load of nonsense you don't know when your pre-cum is going to come out and how much live sperm is in pre-cum i don't know the answer to that it's up to a million and wow. uh, yeah and it only takes one to get pregnant so basically it's not worth the risk once an egg is released from the ovary how long does it have before it dies. <laughs> so like, what is the fertility window, basically, once the egg is released? Can we have a hint? Uh, yeah, it's a matter of hours. Oh. Yeah. I wanna say like 48 hours. 
72. It's actually 24 hours. I know. I know. 72 is the time frame for one of the morning after pills, one of the emergency. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long can sperm survive in the fallopian tube for? Oh my god, I think it's about a month, isn't it? I hope not. Are you sure? Yeah, go, 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 give another guess. Give another guess. Oh, two weeks. It's actually up to a week. So they are, yeah. Scary business. Yes, it's scary. Absolutely. <laughs> Can you show me where the implant is fitted? For, like, in your arm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. In your arm. <laughs> yeah. Do you know where in your arm? I do not. Um. So it's actually usually oh, this little bit of your arm. So it's just fitted underneath your skin. Um. Usually it's fitted by a nurse or a doctor, and they'll put some numbing gel on it. Um, a small insertion. And do you know how long it can last for? Is it two years? It's three years. Three years. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about getting pregnant for three years. That's a really long time. What is the most popular method of contraception in the UK? I'm going to say condoms or birth control. Yes. Boy, just for the UK audience out here. So when people say birth control, it's quite like an American expression. So we actually mean the pill. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think the pill's the most common uh, or most popular method? Oh, let me think of why I went on the pill. I actually went on the pill just because my friends were on the pill. I think because of social norms, it's a cool thing not to wear condoms for a guy. Mm -hmm. So because of that, it's like, what can a girl do if the guy is not wanting to so it's like you have to just protect yourself in that case yeah so i think that's that's why i went on the pill mm. just because of how society was and how guys well i shouldn't say all guys but how some, most yeah. guys some guys have experienced <laughs> have said like you know mm. they don't want to for yeah. whatever reasons. What an age old problem, like it is a shared responsibility and yeah, it always falls on people with uteruses to like, you know, be the most responsible about it. Yeah, yeah I, I went to my GP and just oh. asked, um, what is it? Um, I was mainly just concerned about maybe like some effects, yeah. like does it affect fertility? Mm -hmm. um, and once those were crossed off my list, mm -hmm. then I was like, okay, go for it. Like. Yeah, awesome. So you did actually seek advice and you did actually do your research. What about you? Yeah, the same. Just yeah. talking to my GP about all the side effects that I could, like, get. And, like, especially I heard it affects your mental health. So I was, like, to be sure to ask about that before yeah. I do anything. Yeah, it's totally understandable. Like, such a fair comment. Like, we are all really worried about, like, the side effects and what kind of impact it's going to have on our physical, emotional, mental health. I think the thing to remember is we hear so many horror stories about different kinds of contraception, um, especially if it's like people that we know and love and trust, but we're also chemically different. So if it may be r not great for them, but then really, really good for us. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Every person's different.